What's going on, you guys? Slim here. I'm here with my brother, Asian Persuasion. He is here with me, but he's actually playing in the main events. You will see this on both channels, but we are here with my good friend, Mr. Simon He, who won this beautiful Cartesia the Virtuous giant card. You're kind of nice with it. Winning the giant card at this event. And what did you play? I'm pretty sure knowing you, you played the best deck. I played issues with Tia. Do you think it's the um, best deck? I think it's the best deck. I've never played Tia before. Yeah, you're always on Sprite. Yeah, always on a different version, variation of Sprite. But I had to switch now. I had to yeah. learn the deck. Yeah. And do you regret it? No, no. no. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah, you seem to really it, like it. took a while to learn all the nuanced interactions, and I wasn't very good with it at the beginning, but I played this event and I was getting better and better. Yeah, and I think that's all it is, just build upon it and whatnot. Did you play any mirrors during the, the giant card? Um, one. How is the mirror? Because I heard a lot of I think it's just... actually very, very skillful. Like, oh. if, you, if you don't just outright get Dwellered and um, with Barone or and Rue Carlos, then it can be very skillful because there's a lot of interactive cards like Hellback, um, Halfness, um, all the Bestials as well. Yeah. Yeah, makes sense. All right, for sure. All right, well, you got any quick shout outs or anything? Or? Oh my God. Uh, shout out to Ben Sherman for helping me play this card away. There you go, um, easy. Everyone that provided me cards, uh, a lot of people. Uh, I'm yeah. Not even all the people that helped him out, you already yeah. know. For Thank sure. Thank you very much. All right, let's roll into it. The Tears, Sheeran. Yep. Free Havness, Free Merle. I think this is like really standard, like no one plays less. Um, free Rhino Heart, I, I played two for the main event uh, for White Sage Pasadena, but I um, definitely had to play free. Uh, there were some times I just didn't have enough tier names, and you really want to mill this as well. Um, so, yeah, so just max out, makes yeah, sense. Out then we have the Shizus, oh, yeah. one Ajito, Free Kalbeck, Free, the Shuffle is Free. Um, Keldo and Free Medora. Uh, this is like very standard. I was gonna, um, I was gonna ask. Yeah, is this standard? I, I'm not sure. Do people play more copies of this or no? Yeah, if they play Orange Light or if they play like Exchange, Exchange Spirits with the Gravekeeper's Trap, they do. But I expect a lot of mirrors, so I wanted to just play one. Um, th this effect, the first effect does come up sometimes, so I didn't want to not be able to mill 10 if I wanted to. Right, right. But um, I didn't want any more because it's it's not a great draw and in a mirror you don't really want to mill them all the time. So yeah, it makes sense. I don't play orange light as well, so yeah, yeah, yeah. not quite doing that. And then the, I want to play quite a high bestial count, so we have three Magnumut, uh three Juice One. Yeah. And it's not as good, but I want to like potentially three different ones I can activate on their turn. So uh, yeah like th this this package makes it like more skillful with the Kelbecks and Halfness. Like there's a lot more interactivity during like their first turn. So it's not just a straight up as like Dweller and you're dead. Kind of yeah, thing. yeah. This also helps you play past Dweller because it's just a big yeah, beast deck yeah. as well. I noticed from the ones I played in the main event, a lot of them were on like the orange line and stuff. You said I saw like no beast deals. So I think you took a very different approach and I think it's, it gives you like more of a grind game against like, like an auto win, which is mm. Dweller. So. Um, for the tier spells and traps, we have two screen. This could be free. This is just like every time you go first and you open it, it's like very, very good because it, it means you don't necessarily have to have follow up. Like with Elf into Merle on their turn, you could like have this and just any tier. And when it's summoned, you mill with this. And also the first effect being able to reduce 500 for their turn, all of, all of their monsters for that turn, not just current monsters, it's pretty insane. Um, I didn't want to up it to free because it can break, it's not as good going second. Um, I played one heartbeat, but potentially anyone that's thinking of mine, because there were some people like maining mine in the in uh, the elements as well with the Rainbow Bridge Salvation, and also it's, it's actually not a bad card to just draw. If you if you draw this, you, you pretty much in the mirror, you just spin this back, and it's not bad because sometimes you like the rest of the tier spells and traps is this. Sometimes you like mill these, and then with this, and this will just get it back. So it's and um, sometimes like you don't mill. You don't mill, you mill these, but you draw this, you hard draw this. But um, Rhino Heart's effect to special summon from Grave, and then you can pitch this, and then this can activate on these. It, it, it's pretty good. Um, Pellerino, very, very standard, need to draw this uh, with terraforming. Uh, one is the fusion, of course, and insane, just yeah. one tactic. To be honest, I had two of these in the main event, and then one, uh, two Rhino Hearts, but yeah. I didn't really think much for a side event. I just, uh, I knew I knew I needed Rhino Hearts, so the only thing, the only flex spot was literally this. I didn't want to go over 40, um, so 
this can be something else if there's something that's like better. But you know, sometimes when you do do draw it, the utility is quite nice. You never want to draw two, so uh, that was alright. Like, if, that's fine playing that one. But if you have a better card, then this is definitely cuttable. Yeah. Um, no super poly because theoretically no one ends on Rukalos and Dweller, but like the opposite is happening because no one no one thought they're doing that. No one thinks they're doing that. Like all the decent players, so. Then they're now ending on Rukalos yeah, and, yeah, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh, Dweller because they know that the good players aren't on Super Poly. But I have no space for uh, Super Poly yeah, anyway. Yeah. I want to keep it at 40. Yeah, makes sense. Um, after that, yeah. one Dark, yeah. one of this, uh, one of this, one of this, yeah. and the Sprite stuff. Yeah. This can be something else, but I do make. Yeah. end up like getting stuck I've by seen this deals. a lot yeah I've seen this card a lot actually a lot of tier players are playing some, some people actually like, like take this out uh, depending on what build they're playing I don't play Diviner so I don't have to play Byron um, some people take this out but like sometimes when you get stopped by this deals you have a random Shuren that you special summon with its own effect and you can just make this and carry on because you have so many like level 4s um, Drip's player yeah this is pretty standard um, okay I haven't, seen, I, I haven't seen this yet yeah, I think a lot of people that with the high best deal counts will play this because it's just like an extra foolish. You can foolish like anything. You can foolish solid for uh, like add happiness. You can foolish heartbeat to add a trap back. You can foolish uh, screen to add a trap from deck. So yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's got a good. lot of good versatility. Uh, Baguska, I think this is very like, it's good good versus flu. Good versus some like interactions where you have to like, just turn off the monster effects. Um, Gola, of course, my dragon, of course, um, Zeus. And this is actually really like surprisingly good against the mirror when you not when you dwell with them, but when you have like um Medora and something Medora and something else in then into a rank four and then you make this and then you, you activate and then you chain a Medora that's underneath it to spin stuff back before they can do anything with them. I it's actually it, I thought like in theory it's not very good against the mirror, but in practice it's pretty good and also um this didn't happen as much for me this entire tournament but in theory it's like you bait out the shufflers before you make your plays you can you can get their millers um so you have an extra level four and then sometimes you don't have access to uh, a link level or rank two so this that level four that you take and another level four will go into a rank four and this will go into like the sprite plays um it's gonna also take Fenrir, but not that many people f play f Fenrir unless they're on Spite or something like that. But um, I still think this is good. If I wanted to play something else in here, perhaps like a removal, like uh, access code. Okay. But other than that, yeah, still works. Um, so side yeah. deck, yeah. this package because this for flu. Um, the shuffler's gonna shuffle this back if you mill it. Um, yeah, standard. Yeah. Yeah. That's the only like going first thing yeah. I have pretty much. Free twin, yeah, free dark ruler for like um, flu and sprite sometimes when they just like go all out on the on yeah. the board. Um, yep, 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 and yep. Yep, and it <laughs> all worked out. All yeah. right, man. Well, congratulations on winning the giant Thank card. Always a pleasure to have on the channel, Cheers. and we'll see you next time. See you next time.